Let's see, the big bad jellyfish wanted. There's a jellyfish on the wall in graffiti. I've never noticed this before. It's almost invisible. It's pretty... I wonder if this was meant to be part of the game or if just the artist putting that in for the fun of it. Uh, anyway, there's nothing really here, I don't think. Although I don't know why they would have a room with nothing in it. I can't read that quickly enough. And I don't think that actually says anything. But again with Valve, you don't really know. Like They put in all these little hidden secrets. Why is there a... Emancipation Field here? I mean, obviously they put this here for a reason. Maybe... There's a way to break the next puzzle if we bring a chair through. Oh. This. That's interesting. Anyway. Emancipation field and a button. This seems really out of place, but I'll, I'll press the button and you'll see what it is. So we see that thing. It's got a line. Points at us and it shoots rockets. So the emancipation field neutralizes the rockets. That's interesting. So it slowly turns towards you. Let me try this. I wanted to get it to shoot itself. Okay, so it can't actually shoot itself. But we can use it to break windows and get the hell out. So that's the puzzle. Again, you know, I've, I've played this game several times, so I know exactly what's going on here. Again, I'm not sure if that's that obvious to the new players. But you notice that, you know, there's the room with the glass and the button. So until you press the button, nothing happens. And when you press the button, you see it coming out. So obviously you have to face the button to press it. So in that way, the game knows that you are looking in that direction already. So there's no way to miss it. So the turret comes out, and there's a glass there. Then it shoots the first rocket at you and it breaks the glass, but it doesn't hurt you. So the game shows you what the turret's gonna do. And then it gives you time to, to maneuver and run away and walk around and all that. So again, like the game doesn't kill you right away. In fact, it, it takes a long time to even start threatening you. It shows you exactly what it's gonna do before it puts you in danger. Again, you know, showing you the puzzle before asking you to solve it not unlike some other games where they kill you so in order for you to find out what the puzzle even is they kill you and then you have to replay it so again puzzle design puzzle design you know why would you you can't oh we're going over there i see and the piece of glass and of course if you're supposed to remember that there's a piece of glass you use the rocket Uh, what should I do with that? Let's put that up there. So, you know, why would you... How can you punish the player for something that he doesn't even know? Like, the player doesn't even know what the puzzle is, and you kill them. You're punishing the player... Like, he hasn't failed anything. Technically. Because he doesn't even know what's going on. But if you... Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of... It's all hypothetical at this point, because I know I'm not showing you a bad game, I'm showing you a good game. Where they don't kill you, to show you what's going on, you know, they keep you alive, and you can see what's going on. Uh, let's see here. This puzzle is actually one of the problematic ones. I think in the whole game, 
this is the one that is the least well designed, in my opinion. If I remember right, I never figured this... Like, it, it took me maybe the third time playing through this game to figure out what you're meant to do. I mean, it's over here, and the only thing over here is there, and there's the arrow there. So it's really obvious that you're meant to go in that direction. But nothing sticks, right? So you figure, okay, I need to get into there. And what I do, and based on what I've, you know, read on the internets, this is what most people end up doing. They end up coming here, getting a chair. and then jumping on the chair to try to get out. And this actually works. If you do it right. I mean, you, it's kind of... Yeah, that actually works. Most people do that. What you're actually meant to do... Hold on. Uh, oops. There we go. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Okay, let's grab the cube and get the hell out of here. So what you're meant to do is use the rocket to break the tube. And usually no one figures that out. Now why? Why is that? Why is that? We've been through this much of the game. Why is this puzzle something that people have trouble with? Because we've never done this before. We've never broken a pipe before. We've never seen a pipe get broken. And when we've seen a glass get broken, and I guess maybe you'll figure this out. But, you know, this is a part of the game where Unlike everything we've played through in Portal so far, the game doesn't teach you to do this. Now consider what that means in terms of puzzle games and puzzle design. You know, a puzzle is not just about confusing the player. What I'm saying here is that throughout the whole game, every game mechanic has been taught to us by the game before we are asked to use it in slightly more complex situations. Now here, like we got the rocket, we got the glass, but we were never explained, like it was never explained to us that these tubes could be broken by an explosion. And so, I mean, I, I'm, it's not just me that, you know, use the chair and all that. And it's interesting that using the chair works. I wonder if when they tested this, they, they got the game testers, and maybe the game testers used the chair as well, and they just said, okay, that's fine, we just keep it anyway. But that's what you're meant to do. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I mean, ultimately, if you can get past it, you can get past it. I guess the game designer's intention, you know, it's not the, the be or end or, but... Like, you know, that, that, I mean, compared to everything else we've seen in the game, it seems like that's uh, something they've missed. And maybe they, they left it in on purpose, like I said. You know, if they've tested everything else so extensively, surely they would have tested this as well, but... You know, the, the, f the one time that the game asks you to do something without showing you to do it first, is the time that people end up having trouble with it. Ah, for some reason that loading screen was really extra long, I need to remember to cut it out. Anyway, I was saying... You know, imagine if it was... if the game was not as well designed and there wasn't the chair, so you had to break the glass, or you had to break the tube to get through. 
and the game never shows you how to do it. And so every player who plays through that is just stumped. And it takes them forever to figure it out, if they ever figure it out. Then all of a sudden, they're not having fun with the game. And that's not a good thing as a game designer. I mean, as a game designer, you don't want to be... Ew, that's disgusting. You don't want to be in a situation where... Basically, the people who are playing your game say the game's not fun. And that's despite it being a puzzle game, and supposedly puzzles are supposed to be hard. You know, it's a... I keep saying it, and I really... Oh, look, the radio. And I should stop repeating myself. Puzzles, maybe, then maybe they're meant to be hard, but games are supposed to be fun. And there's an ambush here. Ah, oh, there it is. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, hey. So that's this pretty serious ambush. If I remember right, what most people end up doing is they'll end up backing into the trench here. And I think the trench is actually quite safe. Yes, you'll notice the trench is actually fairly safe. Okay, not quite, but they've managed to put these walkways and, and those you know, chambers in such a way that it's actually fairly safe. Like, you get a lot of cover in here. So I remember the first time I played through this, I was, I was pretty sure I just panicked. You know, when the doors opened and I see the turrets, I just panicked and then just fell into the trench. And again, you know, they're not making it so that it's really easy to die. In fact, they're making it so that it's quite difficult to die because your automatic reaction is to just run and then you fall into a safe area. So, you know, on the one hand, they put you in a situation of danger, but on the other hand, they make it so that even if you just panic and completely mess up, chances are you'll luck out and survive. Again, the idea that, you know, you're not punishing the player. You're asking the player to solve the puzzle, which is what I'm doing now. What you're supposed to do is use the puzzle to avoid the, the turrets. So you're still requiring the player to actually do the work. But you're not punishing them if they're not getting it right the first time, you know? Oh wait, there's one more. Let's see. Me down. Right, so there's flash, and then there's two diagonal panels. Well, that's interesting, you can put on the underside as well. It's not useful though. Let's see. Damn. I missed. I don't... hmm... It doesn't give you any real clues. It does give you lights there. And the lights do draw your attention a little bit. And... you. And there's only two diagonal panels, so... You know, if you think back to the flinging puzzles... The fact that they're there is an indication that you're supposed to do something with it. 